So we're going to make all natural goat's milk soap bars and I'm using one block of pre-made all natural goat's milk. It's one pound and I'm going to chop it up into little chunks and melt it on a double boiler. I've got just under half a teaspoon of lavender essential oil from India. And this is actually a little bit too much. Um, this is half of a uh, quarter teaspoon, which is like an eighth of a teaspoon of food coloring. Uh, just a couple drops of red and a couple drops of blue, but I'm just going to use half of what's in there. So a half of a, you know, one eighth of a teaspoon actually for the color for these soap bars I'm going to make. And um, I'm going to start by chopping up this bar of soap. So here I have the natural goat's milk soap base, which is relatively soft. And I've just chopped it up into little chunks because that makes it easier to melt down. So now I'm going to put it in the double boiler and it takes about 10 minutes to melt it down. As you can see, the soap has melted and it actually took about 6 minutes. So now I'm going to add the coloring. I'm going to stir it in and then I'm going to add the essential oil after I take it off of the heat. So as you can see, I have poured the lavender liquid soap that's been melted and it's going to harden in a couple of hours and I'll be able to pop it out of the mold. And I have different types of molds. I've got a silicone mold, a hard plastic mold, and I actually have some more molds up here where I poured um, a small soap right here and a decorative larger oval soap. So uh, we're just going to let that cool and then we'll pop them out and have you take a look. So while the lavender soaps are cooling off, I've chopped up another one pound bar of the goat's milk um, soap base and I have poured one teaspoon of natural bay rum scent and I've mixed up brown food coloring. So I'm going to make really cute hedgehog soaps. I've got these plastic hedgehog, hedgehog soap molds. And um, so we're going to do that. It makes a really nice gift for a man or even a woman. I, I like the smell of bay rum. And uh, bay rum comes from a natural plant. So um, we'll get started on that. I'm going to put this back in the double boiler. So for the bay rum, I ended up putting a little over half a teaspoon of the brown food coloring in it, and I actually put two teaspoons of the bay rum scent. I just like a little bit stronger smell in my soap, and I wanted it to be a little bit darker brown. So I poured the bay rum into the mold, and I actually had a little bit left over, so I put um, three little bay rum hearts, and three little bay rum hearts. So I'm going to let this cool for a couple hours, and I'm going to pop them all out. Okay, while the third uh, pound of goat's milk um, soap is melting, I'm going to show you how to make a bunch of different scents and different colors of soap all from one batch. So we're going to head up here. I have a soap tray that has quite a few squares in it. And if you want to just melt one or two pounds of soap, but have different scents of soap, a bunch of different scents with different colors, what you can do is you can put a couple of drops of each scent in each square and a couple of drops of the color that you want with the food coloring or the natural oxide or you can use curry, um, all kinds of different things, cayenne, pepper, whatever, uh, cinnamon to make different colors and textures and scents. So once you do that and you have all of your oils and your colors in each one, then you're going to pour the hot goat's milk into the different squares and then you're going to get a separate spoon for each one and you're just going to stir it up individually. Um, I'll show you some of that in a second after the soap melts. And then you're going to let it cool and you're going to have a whole different selection of soaps out of just one batch. Okay, as you can see, I've got three separate spoons. In this one, I have just a tiny drop of food coloring and that's green food coloring. 
And I've got tea tree oil in there, it's, which is an essential oil. It's pure tea tree. Over here, I've got lemon verbena, natural lemon verbena, with just one drop of yellow food coloring. Over here, I have just an eighth of a teaspoon. Well, actually, I guess it's more like a fourth of a teaspoon. A fourth of a teaspoon of um, yellow curry and just a little bit of frankincense. So we're going to stir these up individually after I pour the liquid soap inside. As you can see, the curry makes a really pretty um, kind of textured, speckled yellow color, like a light yellow, which is very nice. It's all natural. And the green food coloring, just one tiny drop in each one, makes a very nice tea tree uh, oil type of green. And um, I'm going to show you how to layer soap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, melt down some pure glycerin. I'm going to put a layer of clear glycerin underneath, or actually on top of the tea tree oil soap. So it's going to have a layer of see-through on top of the goat's milk, which will make for a really nice uh, pattern on the soap. And I'm also going to use the glycerin for the um, lemon verbena. So we're going to do that next. So here I've chopped up one pound of pure glycerin soap and I'm going to put that in my double boiler and melt it. So the pure glycerin soap is all melted now and it just looks kind of like water. Okay, so I just poured tea tree clear glycerin over the goat's milk tea tree soap. So it's going to be layered. It's going to be a creamy layer and a thinner glycerin layer. And I put a couple drops of tea tree oil in the glycerin as well. So that's going to be an interesting looking soap. And over here we've got the red apple with just a couple drops of red food coloring. Over here, the lemon verbena with just a couple of drops of the yellow. So we're going to let that cool and then we're going to put labels on it, make it all pretty, and it'll be ready to use. So here are some of the soaps that we made and I just popped these out of the silicone mold. And these are the ones that came out of the plastic mold. And uh, I still have some of the soaps in the mold because I'm going to layer them. But uh, it made quite a bit of soap. I actually used three pounds to make all this, and there's a few more pieces that I don't have spread out here. I like to put them on freezer paper, and then when I'm ready to wrap them, I usually put them in a soap box, um, little cardboard boxes, especially made for soap, or you can wrap them in saran wrap and put a little sticker to hold it together. Also, when you do your cleanup, just run everything under really hot water, and I clean up after every soap batch. Um, it doesn't take long at all. So, there you go. I hope you have a lot of fun. You can find most of the products that you need, uh, the base soap and base minerals and things like that for your projects, right online at glorydaysnaturals.com. Have a great time.